I mean, if you're starting with people who are already professing to be Christians, then you're going to start in a different place than if you're engaging people who are not professing to be Christians in terms of how you engage them. But ultimately, both both need to know the love of God and need to experience that love themselves in a, in a revelation of who he is to fully come into the knowledge of who they are. So I would always start in an experiential way. You know, if, if there are Christians, I'm going to quote uh, things that would point to the fact that Jesus and the Father very clearly want a intimacy that is not religious and not based in works or performance or old covenant. So I would definitely look at new covenant wineskin for believers who may be uh, conditioned or programmed by various religious beliefs to see what Jesus said. What did Jesus say we should expect? Well, we should expect to be where he was in the I am relationship with the father. He came and breathed on them to receive the Holy Spirit on the day of uh, resurrection to affirm that as the new representatives of humanity or mankind. As Adam was the first representative, we're all died. Now they were the new representatives where all are now made alive. So I would sort of emphasize Jesus wanted them to experience his presence. So even when he told them to wait in Jerusalem, it was so they would be clothed from power from on high. There would be an experiential encounter that would affirm the reality of what they'd already experienced in that they were now indwelt by the Holy Spirit. As he said, breathe on, br he breathed on them and said, receive the spirit as the father had breathed on Adam so that he received life in the spirit. So they received new life in the spirit. So that would be sort of challenging the being born again at some point in the future for some people when the reality is all were born again at that moment in the resurrection affirmed when he breathed on them. And he said, on that day, you will know in John 14, I'm in you and you're in me. We're in the father. You know, and I think always stressing the experiential side that we've been called to hear his voice. We've been called to come to the bold throw of grace boldly. We've been called to come into the realms of heaven experientially because it's open um, and expressing that in a way which removes the. Um, spiritualization of it and brings it back into a very practical what we can expect in our relationship with god you know and sort of challenge some of the you know vaguely hopeful expectations to you no know, more affirmations of what we should expect as what jesus said we would expect that we would be in union with one another that we would be our relationship in love would allow the world to see what it was to be in relationship with god um so definitely give people an opportunity to have their experience of god themselves and make it simple and easy and accessible don't complicate it and give people the opportunity of encountering god through experience and then from that point you can then you know, open the door for them to understand all sorts more. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.